The problem with reaction videos. In this video, you're going to learn what my thoughts are on reaction videos that tell the future or try to predict stock market crashes or housing bubble crashes or anything like that. And it's really simple. In my opinion, I think that it's all BS where I think that YouTube creators are making random predictions and then no one's ever gonna talk about the times that they were wrong and then the one time that they're right, they're just going to tout that as if they're suddenly the new Warren Buffett or, or the new Oracle that can predict future price movements. I think that the reality is that the stock market is much more intelligent than any of us. Perhaps any of us watching this video put together the stock market is more intelligent than and has more information than. When you think about a large cap company like Amazon, there are literally hundreds of billions of dollars that are traded every single day. And for you to think that you know more about Amazon's future price movement is a little bit silly. The only reason why selling options on something like Amazon ends up working is that the expected volatility is almost always less than the actual volatility. And plus, if you wouldn't mind owning Amazon at five to $600 below its current market price, and you also wouldn't mind collecting about $1,000 a contract, for every time you agree to buy Amazon $500 below its current market price, then it makes perfect sense why selling options on a large cap, strong brand, huge company like Amazon can be extremely profitable. But a lot of these YouTube creators, for example, Graham Stephan, I see his video sometimes where he's trying to predict like a stock market crash. I think that the reality is he's trying to appeal to as many people as possible and he's trying to use fear as a way of getting you to watch his videos. But the reality is that he doesn't know anything more than you do. And if both you and him were to make 10 predictions, your predictions would be just as good as his. I do like some of Meet Kevin's videos. He's pretty good at crunching data. But the reality is that all of that information is already priced into the market. So when it comes to stock market stuff, I don't think that there's any value that you can glean by watching uh, videos regarding like future economic predictions like housing bubble crashes or stock market crashes or stock market bubbles or when the used car vehicle market is going to pop or when car prices are going to decrease or when inflation is going to increase or decrease. I think that people are just speculating and they're feeding into the viewer's fear and the YouTube creator is stoking the fears of his viewers in order to get more people to watch their videos. But the reality is that I've seen a few times where Graham Stephan has come out with, oh, the stock market's gonna crash, and he's completely 100% wrong. But unfortunately, he doesn't take responsibility for it. Instead, he will continue to put out those type of videos because people continue to watch them. Now, I don't want it to seem like I'm picking on Graham at all, because I definitely respect his work ethic. He works extremely hard and he's able to maintain his business and become a multimillionaire by working hard and making a lot of sacrifices. But I will say that I do believe it's pretty disingenuous to come out with a clickbait title and stoke the fears of his viewers to make it seem like he has privileged information and then have his prediction be wrong and not call himself out on it without putting a disclaimer that he doesn't know anything more than the viewer watching the video because pretty much he's guessing. So to summarize, my issue with reaction videos is I don't believe that the person making the video has any more information or any higher probability of being right than you do. And I think that oftentimes the creator will bring about and stoke the fears of their viewers in order to gain more YouTube ad revenue, in order to increase their subscriber count, and in order to increase the number of clicks that they get on their videos. David Jaffe with BestStockStrategy.com. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See, I'm being completely hypocritical. I'm telling you, that YouTube creators are making videos in order to increase their number of subscribers. And hey, I'm doing it myself. I'm sorry that I'm not perfect. 
But um, yeah, if you like these type of videos, then please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you can be alerted when I come out with a new video. And I really appreciate you spending this time with me.